Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would bring you guys my very simple foundation routine. So what I do is I start with the NYX Wonder Stick. I like to go over the dark marks that are in my face that I am currently treating. And basically, I, I guess you could call it color correcting, but I don't use the orange um, concealer that most people use. I just go in with the contouring side of the NYX Wonder Stick and I just put it over the dark marks that are in my face. Next level. Okay, and once I'm done with that, I will then begin to go in with my foundation. I like to um, mix foundations. I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation and also the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Makeup Foundation. I am in the color Warm Caramel in Stay Matte and I am in the color Warm Tawny in CoverGirl. I just basically mix those two together and then I'll go in and just begin to Blend that onto my face with the foundation brush. And I know it looks like a lot and you and you will see that it's going to make me look a little ghostly, but these two together, they will oxidize out and over time, I said about 10 minutes after applying it, it begins to oxidize out and it will look more like my um, natural complexion. Next, I'm going to go in with a concealer, and I'm using the Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I basically just want to go under my eyes with that to um, just kind of, I guess, kind of conceal any dark marks or any kind of um, coloring that's under there that's darker than my complexion. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the same foundation brush and I'm just going to blend that out and really the combination of the foundation that's left over on the brush along with the concealer is going to kind of help tone those two together if that makes any sense it just kind of cancels each other out so that the ghostliness that you see is kind of going to be toned down by the darkness of the foundation um, if that makes any sense and then I'll do contouring on top so it'll all come together in the end I'm going to be using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. It is in the color light. I'm going to be using this under my eyes and any areas where I feel like I crease the most, which is basically under my eyes, around my mouth. And then I'm going to blend that out once I'm done. Okay, I'm going to let this bake. I usually don't bake, um, but I am going to let this bake just to see if I get any kind of a different 
um, result with it since I've never baked before. And in the meanwhile, while I'm baking, I'm going to go ahead and contour because I like for my contour to sit for a while. And I'm going to be going in with, this, with the same NYX Wonder Stick. I'm going to be using the highlighter and contour side of the stick. And I'm using the highlighter down the bridge of my nose, the middle of my nose, and then the contouring side is going to be on either side of that. Okay, and while I'm baking and baking, I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush. It has a little bit of foundation left on it. And so I'm going to use that to blend out the setting powder. continue to contour I'm using this black radiance uh, concealer stick and I'm going to basically contour the sides of my jaw like right under my cheekbone on both sides and because I have a little bit of a um, double chin I'll be contouring a little bit there and of course on my forehead and then I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to blend that out makeup wedgie and I'm going to start with the highlighting part first I'm just going to go in and blend that out and then I'll turn the wedgie over and use the other side to blend out the contouring side the contouring <music> I usually don't contour a lot with my face, but I've been trying to practice a little bit more. I'm using the True Complexion Cream Contour Palette, medium to dark. And to start, I'm going to use the middle color, I believe this is the sculpting color. And I am just going to put that on the, um, the cheek. Okay, and maybe a little under my chin and definitely on my forehead. Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with the contouring shade and I am basically going to be adding that to the area under my cheekbone 
and to my forehead I'm going to blend that out And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you do know that when I do my eyebrows, because I don't wear eyelashes right now, I like to combine two or three different kinds of mascara. Today I'm using the Great Lash, lots of lashes, Maybelline um, mascara. It's in very black, and I'm also using the Volum Voluminous Million Lashes. It is in the color black. And I'm just going to layer those and keep layering them until I get the illusion of hair having very long, thick eyelashes. Okay, next for a little bit of blush or bronzer, I'm going to use this Ulta bronzer. It's in the color Splendor and bronzer. It's a Splend called Splendor and bronzer. So I'm thinking the bronzer part is the brown part and the Splendor is the pinkish. It just kind of gives your cheeks a light little um, a light little rosy color and then I'm gonna go in with a Hikari um, radiate shimmer bronzer this is going to act as a highlight for me and I love the way they have it like a like a pack of four you have two um, like golden shades and then you have a brown and a pink so it kind of gives you a blush look along with a highlight look and it kind of combines the two I absolutely love this Shimmer Bronzer by Hikari and I put it on the tip of my nose, um, the, the bow of my lip, and my forehead. Okay, next I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip. It's in the color Sessie. It's just a nice red, almost like a deep red color. Um, it's great for transitioning into fall, which is why I wore this color. And I think it looks really nice up against the gold shirt that I have on. Okay, so here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in another one. Bye.